All right, it's time to recap this uh, amp. This is a TSA 7. And it's, you can see the dust falling off of this. This is um, a Mallory paper cap, a 2750 uh, volt. And it's got some original Siemens in it as well. So, I mean, this thing is uh, pretty much original from 1968 so it's time and it plays it's working fine I was playing it uh, earlier yesterday actually and uh, so it's, it works I just it's time to uh, put all new capacitors in it so replacing all the lytic capacitors which you know all these uh, in this case they're goldish colored capacitors and this huge paper capacitor off the uh, boards and off the main chassis and one thing I have learned is that you should always use a solder sucker when taking the um, capacitors off a board so that you don't tear the little pad off it's very difficult to then get things resoldered back on with the pad torn off so that's the first thing I'm going to do is suck off solder off of those and then I'm going to come in with the new components I was going to just go ahead and check them just for grins with my Atlas ESR checker, but um, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to be replacing them. Okay, so on top you've got this uh, preamp board, and then below you've got your um, right and left boards, and everything looks pretty original. I don't see anything burnt. Which is always a good sign, just kind of looking at them once over, just to see what I can see. But, uh, so far, so good. Just going to hopefully just be able to replace capacitors and be happy, so we'll see. I'm just sitting there recapping this amplifier. I thought I'd tell you what I was doing as I go. Uh, for other novices out there, maybe you can learn some things as, I, as I'm learning. Uh, first off, I... I pull the old part out and the way I do it is I use this solder sucker uh, from Radio Shack. One of, the only, one of the only things I like from Radio Shack but it's great because you just take this bulb, you squeeze it, you put it over it and then when you suck it up it actually sucks the solder up inside this little tube and then you blow it out. I'm just blowing it on that piece of paper so it cleans, you get a nice clean solder joint. So I just took this uh, part number C five one two zero, which was a uh, right right there and there I don't know if you can tell but it just basically sucked all the solder out and I before I tried having in this solder sucker I would try and desolder these without it and I would end up tearing this pad off right here if you tear this pad off trying to get it out then you get a problem because then you don't have anywhere to solder your new part to. Then you got to jumper it over to the next one with another wire because you've torn this pad out. So, solder sucker is a good thing. Um, these are parts that I got from uh, Jukebox Friday Night. And the great part is, is he labels all of them, so no brainer. You know that this particular one is a uh, 5120, and so you just locate that, and of course, if you can see on this board it says um, you can adjust here to see it, that one right there and it has a positive, it doesn't have a negative but it touches a positive so it's not real difficult to go ahead and put the new one in uh, but I'm, keep, I'm keeping track, this is a little spreadsheet that I made and so as I'm putting it in I'm saying what uh, replacement capacitor is and what the meter reading is on it so I'm actually using this Atlas ESR meter and I'm documenting that this capacitor started off at 47.42 UF and the ESR is 0 0.82 ohms and so I'm writing that down in here on pencil and I'm also telling the name brand and the date that I put it in and then I'm going to enter this obviously in my computer so I can just kind of keep track of what's what so if I have another one of these I don't know where it's at or if I want to go back and check these later of a baseline anyway that's what I'm doing, just having fun here and going down the road. If you've never used one of these little solder suckers, they really work good. You just suck, squeeze in the bulb, 
and then you put it on top of the joint and you get it to, you can see it melt and then you suck it and then you just blow it off on somewhere else and you can see how clean that joint is and then even if it's bent over you can also take this and kind of use it to push it up a little bit so that you can get that uh, lead straightened out to easily remove it it's always amazing to me how much smaller the uh, replacement capacitors are these are both the exact same 100 UF 25 V capacitor yeah just amazingly different in size here alright now it's time to replace these five uh, electrolytic capacitors that are in the chassis of this TSA 7 amp you got this big honkin Mallory paper one and then you've got uh, three that are the same and you got a littler one up on the top uh, these ones are pretty straightforward because there's a plus on one side of them which tell you what it is and this one's a plus as well um, just so I, when I disconnect them though I, I just kind of made a plus over on the side of the chassis this one um, there's a little plus up here by the Mallory side but I did it's like okay so what in, is this really the plus side so I went back to the schematic and I found this uh, C5132 if you look right right there there's a little plus on this end of it and, and it shows it going down to ground so I followed this side of it and it goes down to ground so I made a plus there with a, a sharpie so I'll have no uh, question about that later in case I uh, get distracted I have to stop in between things here so time to uh, get to some soldering when I took this big honk and Mallory off I uh, realized that one of the leads just goes over to a terminal here and then there was a red wire that ran from here over to a, a terminal over here so rather than trying to make this really small uh, capacitor uh, jumper over here I just snipped the red one off and I'm pulling it from there over to here so uh, makes the life a lot easier and then it's a lot easier to also I don't have so many wires running around so I'm just using an alligator clip here to hold the two wires together while I do a solder joint okay so I went from this big stick of dynamite looking piece to uh, this little one here and um, I'm just gonna tuck it back up and in after I'm done here and make sure that those don't touch anything else now it's time to uh, replace these three and then tackle that little one over there